We see a lot of products on TV, in today's case, food, sharing you why their product is gonna benefit you. I don't know if it's just me if, or if I'm just late to catch it, but I've been seeing a lot more products emphasize on how much more protein it has which will benefit you. I could have swore a couple years ago it was focusing on calcium. When it comes to protein, what do you think it is? Advertisements for massive muscle? The latest high protein diet? What the heck is it exactly? Do you really know what it is? Or do you just do it because your friends and TV says it's good? Wouldn't you think it's best to understand it so you can fully leverage its benefits? Hey everyone, Emeroy here and today we're going to be talking about what protein is and why is it important. Now before I explain with you what protein is, I want to share with you why it's so important. And at the end of the video, I'll be sharing with you my top six favorite sources for protein. Protein is the most important cell in the body. It's used to repair muscle tissue, promote muscle growth, and our hair and nails are made out of it. It helps curb your hunger and can prevent obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. Think of protein as the maintenance worker of the body. If Disneyland or any other theme park lacked any maintenance workers, there'd be a lot of fatal consequences there. Humans cannot survive when their protein storage goes below 50%. Now what exactly is protein? Protein is made through a chain of amino acids. Proteins are constantly broken down and replaced. There are about 20 types of amino acids, most of which are created through the body. These are called non-essential amino acids. The others, the essential amino acids, need to come from food. Now there are two types of protein. The first one is complete protein. These provide all your essential amino acids. They come from animal-based foods such as meat, poultry, eggs, and cheese. The thing is you don't want to overdo it because it can easily become high in fat. Now again, make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I share my top six sources of protein. Veggies, grains, nuts, and legumes fall under the category of incomplete protein. But just because they're incomplete doesn't mean they're inferior. It just means you gotta combine different sources of incomplete proteins so you can create the right balance of essential amino acids. Proteins that are combined to complete the amino acid chain are known as complementary proteins. Great examples are rice and beans and spinach salad with almonds. Now that you have a better understanding of what protein is, here are my top six favorite sources of protein. Three animal based, three plant based. Now I'm gonna go through it very quickly with the intention of keeping this video as short as possible. My first favorite is seafood because it's low in fat. Two, white meat, poultry, I love my chicken. Three, eggs, don't care when I have it as long as I get it in there. For plant-based proteins, I love spinach. Gotta have my spinach at least once a day. Second is beans, half a cup of that is a great source of protein and it's also high in fiber. And last but not least, quinoa. Unlike rice and pasta, it's high in protein. And that's it, my top six favorite sources of protein. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe and leave comments over at the blog. The link to it is right below. Also, if you like videos and strategies on health and fitness, productivity and time management, plus insights that I only provide through email, make sure you head on over to the blog and sign up for my free newsletter. And last, I would love it if you shared this video with a friend or a family who you think would benefit from this video. Thank you for watching Emory TV, and I'll see you next time.